So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. Hope you're doing great and staying safe. So what we'll discuss in today's video. Now today's video is very important for those students who are targeting B.Tech College, Engineering College without JE. Yes, in today's video, we're going to discuss about engineering admission without JE in various colleges. Now that includes institution, that includes university as well. So before starting this video, let me tell you the outline of this video. In this video, we'll start with discussing about the highlights of engineering college in India. Yes, what are the major highlights? What are the total number of colleges in India? How many of them are IITs? How many of them are NITs? And how many of them are government colleges, private colleges? We'll have a brief look into this. Then we'll discuss about the admission to colleges which have their own entrance exam. Not J, they have their own entrance exam. Okay. Then also we'll discuss about the colleges which do not have any entrance examination as such. There is a direct admission. We'll discuss that also. And after that point of time, we'll discuss about top three colleges, which I recommend you, which is non G colleges, right? And again, after this point of time, you still have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's start this video. So what is the highlights of engineering college in India? Well, in India, if you talk about there are 4,200 colleges, these are engineering colleges in India, out of which there are 23 IITs, 31 NITs, and 25 triple ITs. Now, what are the rest one? The rest one is a huge number that includes colleges which accepts JE score, which do not accept JE score, or which accepts JE score, but they do have their own entrance examination by which you can also enter into that college. So we'll discuss that part again. All right, so this is the scenario of BTEC colleges, essentially uh, engineering colleges in India. 4200 that's a huge number right definitely you will get admission this year only no need to drop well let's discuss about the colleges which have their own entrance examination so we'll start with discussing about the top colleges and then we'll move on subsequently the first one is bits yes birla institute of technology and science bits at this is the entrance examination that they conduct by their own so bits conduct bits at and now this is again a very good option for you guys if you are like not qualified G by any means by any chance that does not matter that does not mean that you will not get admission this year you will get admission for that you need to clear other entrance exam other college or university level entrance examination BITSAT is one such examination the second one is NSIT Delhi now NSIT Delhi is one of the top college in Delhi as far as this engineering thing is concerned but in the NSIT the relaxation is given only to the Kashmiri candidates and the foreign nationals, foreign students. This is not for the Indian students. So for the Indian students, they have to qualify GE. Yes, they have to qualify GE. Then only they enter into NSIT. Relaxation is given to Kashmiri and this foreign nationals. Then MIT, MIT is one such option for the M M M MIT because this college is in Maharashtra. So there is an entrance examination conducted by the Maharashtra government, right? That's called MAHCET. Qualify that exam, that's not too hard, right? Although the applicants are very large in number. So you can easily you know clear that exam M A H C E T right Maharashtra C E T then you have C E A U in which is in Gindi campus Tamil Nadu so for that you need to clear the Tamil Nadu entrance examination thread which is T N E A right then you have M I T Karnataka again for M I T you need to clear M U O E T that's again a college level examination right then V I T V I T is again one such great option for you if you have not qualified J E or if you have low score in J E you can give this entrance examination which is VIT Tripoli, a great option, right? This option, this college is again great in terms of foreign collaboration, in terms of alumni network, in terms of many other things. You will really learn great thing from here, from VIT, Velour Institute of Technology. Then you have BMSC Bangalore. For, for that, you need to clear this entrance examination, which is BMSCE in entrance examination. SRM is also one such great option for you guys. For the SRM, you need to clear the SRM entrance examination, which is SRMJ. Tripoli. Okay. Then you have MSRIT, which is in Bangalore. For that, you need to clear Kia, CET, or Comet. Yes, this is in Bangalore. That's why. And the last one is RV College of Engineering. For that, you need to clear Comet or Kia, CET, which is Karnataka entrance test. So these are the universities. These are the colleges under which you have their own entrance examination. You clear that entrance examination, then you get into this college. No J E as such. Now. Before I move forward and discuss the other aspects of this presentation, let me announce a very important part here. This is for the NRIs. So for the NRIs, we have prepared an NRI ebook, right? That's related to DASA and CIWG. 
you can download it from the link in the description below. We have a compiled set of NRI books that will really help the students to prepare well in the examination. Not only in the examination, to hit the examination with a proper strategy defined by us. Right? A great thing. Now, let's move on and discuss about the other colleges where direct admission happens. No entrance examination as such. No JE, no college, no university level entrance exam. So, what are those colleges? Well, in that college, you have to have a very good percentage in class 10th, class 12th, or if you have by chance, you know, some extra curricular activities that will be added advantage. Well, there are colleges like School of Aeronautics, which is in Nimana, then Cisco Aridhinana University, which is in Baneshwar, then there is Aurora Engineering College, which is in Hyderabad. There are much colleges, right? But take this option as a backup. Normally, if some, if someone, if you are someone who are targeting BTEC or if you are someone targeting engineering college, right? So your first priority is G, post that the university or the college level entrance examination. If by chance you've not made those two examinations, then this is the third option for you guys, which is direct admission. The problem is for this type of colleges, there is you know no assurity about the placements. This has been seen in many cases, so that's why the preference should be accordingly. G. Then there are colleges which have their own entrance examination, and then take this as a backup option. Okay. Now. As I told that I'll discuss about the three top colleges which I prefer, which I feel that this college is best. These are non-GE colleges. Of course, they accept JE score. See, JE is just like a, you know, godfather of engineering in India, right? So colleges accept JE score. They accept JE score. They have their own runs examination, but they do accept JE score. Well, in the first category, in the first number, this is NSIT Delhi. Although this is not applicable for the Indians, but this is applicable for the foreign nationals and Kashmiri students. For those students, you have their relaxations, right? For the foreign nationals, they have to clear SAT. For the, the Kashmiri candidates, there are reservations. Few number of seats, but yes, they have reservation. For the Indians, you have to clear this JE examination. The cutoff is high because this college is in Delhi, one of the top colleges for engineering. Well, let's discuss about NSIT. What are the highlights of this college? So, NSIT, popularly known as NSUT, is established in the year 1983. This is popularly known as Netaji Subhas Institute of Technology. Uh, it's a public government university, so the fees will be very low. Established and located in this place, Dwaraka, New Delhi. A lavish campus of 145 acres. That's great. Affiliated to DU, Delhi University. And it's an autonomous university, you know, recognized by UGC, Government of NCT of Delhi. Ranked 76 by NIRF. There are a total of 11 departments. Offers 5 courses. They do have their entrance exam. You need to clear and then enter that college. Now, let's discuss about the fees and the return on investment. The fees is really low because, as I told, this is a public government university, which means that for the BTEC, this is 1.9 lakh rupees in the first year, which means 2 lakh rupees for the first year, 8 lakh rupees for the overall BTEC. For the BBA, this is 90,000 per year. Uh, for the MTech, this is 1.2 lakhs per year. For the MBA, this is 3.96 lakh per year. And for the PhD, this being 36,000 per year. Well, now let's discuss about the return on investment. What is the placements of this college, right? So as such, this is the last year data which we have received from this site, which is www.nsit.in slash placement statistics. So in this, the total of 640 students has been placed. Total of 172 companies came. So you just bifurcate that thing. 640 students, 172 companies. And there were repeated companies that, you know, follow the trend that they say is that suppose I am HCL, right? And I have a tie up with the college and I say that every year I take five students from your college. So the repetition is there, right? So there are 115 companies that has been repeated out of 172, which means that there are um, seven and six minus one, right? That's 57, 57 new company that came in the last year. The highest CTC was 1.25 crores. That's, uh, you know. A great thing and the average is 7.7 .7 likes so see that you invest 8 lakh rupees and you're getting a return in that level that's a very fair deal right so this is one great option which is nsit now the second one is anna university anna university is again famous for its brand which is anna established in the year 1978 campus is located in chennai 189 acres again a lavish campus state level university ranked 15 on engineering and then if I talk about for the popular courses in this college, then BTEC is one such option, BTEC or BE. Then there is MBA and MSc also, right? It's a COVID university and the application mode is online. It has been seen that the highest salary offered by this 2029, which is this year only, is 6.57 lakh per annum. 
Well, this is not bad because the return, if you are investing a very low fees and out of that you are getting 6 or 7 lakh rupees, that's a great thing. You see, this number which is 6.757, right? And if you see the average of that NSIT, so the average is equals to the highest of under university and by this, the college level decreases, okay? Well, this is the another option, which is the second option, Anna University. The top five colleges under Anna University is College of Engineering, which is Anna University affiliation, then PSG, then SSN College, then Thirajgar, and then there is Aydaman College of Engineering. Well, we have prepared a separate video for this Anna University. Maybe you will find the link in the top. Visit that link. You'll have more information about Anna University, the top 10 colleges, how the placements happen, what are the, you know, what are the courses by which this college is famous for. You'll have more information in there. Well, now let's move on and discuss about the third option, which is Bets Pilani. Well, Bets Pilani by its name is a renowned name, Bits, Bitsian, right? So, established in the year 1964. I'm talking particularly about the Pilani campus, right? Well, there are other campuses as well, particularly talking about the Pilani campus, a lavish campus of 328 acres, uh, recognized by ACU, UGC, NAC, PCI, and AIU. Again, it's a great college. Well, they have their own entrance exam as we discussed, which is BITSAT. So BITSAT is one such exam. Then there is G, which they do accept, right? For the, like if you're preparing for MTech or if you want to take admission in MTech for that, there are entrance examination like GATE that you need to clear or C. Well, BE, which is Bachelor in Engineering, right? That is a flagship course for this BITS, BITS Pilani campus, offers full-time course, online mode of application. One more and which is, which is the prominent or dominant thing in this college is that this college has a tie up with the great colleges abroad. One such example is Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is MIT. And they have their collaboration with other institutes, other universities, other colleges abroad. So there are options of foreign exchange. There are options of exposure that you will get out of here. Right. So a good option, which is best planning. So these are the three top colleges which you should prefer if you are targeting non je colleges well the first priority for any students who is preparing for G, uh, engineering is the je well if by chance if, if you have not made then this is that option well so this is all about this video i hope you enjoyed again you have any doubts any queries any questions feel free to ask in the comment section below thank you